What's in a name? Everything. Part 1. That men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the most high over all the earth. Psalm 83, verse 18. The Israelites called God Jehovah, a name they regarded as incommunicable and inexplicable. The name means the self-existing one and the I am. He was the creator of all things, an awesome and a noble supreme being. But God desired to be known in a personal way. So he added to the name Jehovah five revealing titles, word portraits of himself to help us better understand and relate to him. Israel discovered these word portraits during times of crisis and distress, and they will bless and encourage you during your times of need. Let's look at each. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will see, the Lord will provide. Abraham was about to sacrifice his son when God provided a lamb for the offering in Isaac's place. In response, Abraham called him Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who sees and provides. And it doesn't just apply to Abraham. The New Testament says, The Lord sees your needs and provides answers. Jesus said, Your heavenly Father knoweth, ye have need of all these things. Matthew chapter 6 verse 32 Like a caring, alert, observant parent who anticipates his child's every need, God provides well-timed solutions. Before a child's shoes wear out, a good father provides new ones. His child doesn't need to beg, bargain and plead. Then why don't I have what I want, you ask? Because God knows what you really need. You don't. What you see as needs might simply be wants in God's eyes. Remember, Jehovah Jireh sees your needs and will provide them. Thank God for his promise to provide for your needs.